as we get into geometry, one of the important things that we're going to be looking at in our shapes is the angles, okay? So if you look where you have two sides that meet, it makes an angle. So where they touch creates an angle. And your angles are different sizes, okay? And they have different names. They can be classified. That means put into groups based on the size of an angle, okay? Um, additional vocabulary right here is this part right here, the point of the angle. The angle is what we call the vertex. So there's some additional vocabulary for you. Um, so anyway, let's look at how we classify angles. We're going to put them into groups, okay? And we're going to put them into groups based on their measurement. So right here we have what's an acute angle. And sometimes I like to think about it as, oh, it's so cute, like a little baby, because it's the smallest type of angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees, okay? And we measure our angle by inside here from here to here, okay, this inside part from line to line is measured in degrees. And actually it's measured in degrees because an angle is part of a circle, and a circle is 360 degrees. So when you're measuring angle, you're looking to see what part of a circle this, this is. So when you measure it, this inside part between these two lines, the interior part of your angle is what's being measured. And if that is less than 90 degrees, Okay, it's an acute angle. So think of it as being, oh, so cute, it's little. All right? Now, everything is kind of going to be compared to this angle over here, which is our right angle. Okay? A right angle is measured exactly 90 degrees. And what that means, which is really important to know, is that means that if it is a tiny bit more or a tiny bit less than 90 degrees, it will not be a right angle. So a couple of things to know here is you'll see that this, a right angle, is the only one that's going to have this little square sticking right in the corner of the angle, poking right into the vertex. This square here is a symbol that lets you know that this angle is exactly 90 degrees. So when you're looking at an angle, okay, on a paper, and you don't have any way to measure it, if there's this little box in there, that little box means it is a right angle, it is 90 degrees. It is the only type of angle that will have that box. Okay? So, again, only one measurement. If it's 89 degrees, it is an acute angle. If it's 88 degrees, it's an acute angle. If it's 90 degrees, it is a right angle. Okay? That means if it's over 90 degrees, if it's 90.1 degrees, it's an obtuse angle. If it's 91 degrees, it's an obtuse angle. So anything bigger than 90 degrees is going to be obtuse. So think of obtuse as being big. Okay? So an obtuse angle, according to our definitions here, is an angle that is more than 90 degrees. I mean, it could be a point zero zero two more than 90 degrees. It will be an obtuse angle. Okay? So these are your three classifications. Being a right angle, very hard to do. You have to be exactly 90 degrees. Anything more than 90 degrees, you will be an obtuse angle. Okay? And so there's kind of a cool way that you can check this. I'm going to make a shape here. If you have a square, hopefully I can move this square around. Yep, so if you have a square, okay, and you take or even a piece of paper that has never been, that the corner is perfectly never been ripped. If you take this square, it will fit exactly inside a right angle. Okay? Now if you move it over to an acute angle, an acute angle is going to be smaller than 90 degrees because this line is going through the square. Okay? And then this is really a cool trick. And if you go over to an obtuse angle and you put it exactly, you got to line it up with the bottom line and in the corner, which is hard to do on a jam board, but there it is. You'll notice that this angle does not meet up. It goes outside of the box. So that means that this is an obtuse angle. So you can use a square or the corner of an edge of paper to help you figure this out sometimes. All right, let's move on. Okay. So just a couple things here that I want to point out. You're going to see that there's some letters on these. Okay. 
Um, don't let the letters on these scare you. We just use the letters to help us name an angle. Okay, so if you wanted to tell me which angle you were talking about, you would use these letters to give it a name. Okay, so this angle here would be KLM, or you might say it M L K, Martin Luther King. Ha, huh, look at that. Um, when you're naming an angle, you're going to say this point is always going to be second because you're going from the end of your angle to your vertex to the other end of your angle. This angle is going to be P O N or N O P, and this is S R Q or Q R S. Okay? So that's how we name those angles. So if we're trying to answer this question here, which angle is obtuse? That means we're looking for an angle that's greater than 90 degrees. So this angle is out. And the reason this angle is out is because it has that little thing in the corner, that little box that's letting us know that it's exactly 90 degrees. So that's the right angle. So that can't be obtuse. Now this one's kind of easy. You can tell by the picture. But you're looking for an angle that's less than 90 degrees. It's smaller than 90 degrees. So if I use my little square trick here, and I put my square right in the corner and right on that bottom line, this angle is crossing inside my square, so it's smaller than 90 degrees. And if I take that box and move it over here, and I got to line, when I do this, by the way, I got to line it up in the corner, and it has to touch, sit right on one of the lines of the angle. So when I do this, my angle goes like this. It goes away from the box, so that's obtuse. <clears throat> okay, so that means that to answer this question, the angle is S R Q is the name of that angle. Okay? And then we got a question for you here. An angle that measures 57 degrees. Is it acute, right, or obtuse? Well, remember 90 degrees is our mark. So all right angles are 90 degrees. And then you're either less than 90 or you're greater than 90. And acute is small. It's less than 90. So if you're 57 degrees, last time I checked, that's less than 90 degrees. It would be an acute angle. Let's do another one before I send you on your way. Which angle is right? Okay, I've told you the trick for this. So I'm hoping you could figure it out pretty quickly. So get your guess, and then I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? So this angle here is a right angle. And how do I know? Because it has this little box drawn in the corner, and it looks like a square corner. And if I were to take a square, if I had a perfect square, again, it's got to be a perfect square, which is a hard thing, and I were to slide it right in here, it fits exactly inside the corner of that angle. That is a right angle. This is obviously not, and this is obviously not. Whoa, whoa, where's my square? Here, this one's obtuse. It's bigger than my square. And this one, oh boy, how do I get it? I gotta get it to sit on that line. And if I turn it that way, sit it on the line and get it in the corner. Oh yeah, it's definitely smaller than my, okay. So which angle is a right angle? It's gonna be this one. And remember, we're gonna say the name using the letters and the vertex, okay? The letter on the point goes in the middle. So this is gonna be L, M, G is the name of that angle, okay? An angle measures 90 degrees. Is it acute, right, or obtuse? It is a right angle.